Bill Davis from the USA trying to cause an upset against the reigning champion John Parr, who's looking forward to defending his title. I feel good. I feel uh, I'm ready to play and defend in, in a reasonable fashion and uh, do myself justice, which maybe during the rest of the year I haven't. So I, I feel better for it now. I looked at the odds and uh, the expectation isn't there. So the pressure's off me. I, I'm just going to do what I can do. And I think I can surprise people again and again and again. So that's where I am. I can certainly say that the world championship is, for whatever reason, I think it's because it's the one tournament where everyone's sort of nervous. I think it's the place you will see dark horses. And there will be a story. I'm hoping it's not in my section. It's one step at a time, so hopefully I can uh, do well against Bill, and then I can look at the rest of the tournament. If I can just stay in, be a surprise. John McDonald. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live at the Alexandra Palace of London. Labyrinth.com. World Darts Championships brought to you by the PDC and live on Sky Sports. Let's meet our players for our first round action. Could you firstly please welcome from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, it's Bill Shepard 7-2 the first year the World Darts came to the Alley Pally. The defense of that title starts now on day one of the 2009 competition. The commentators Rod Harrington and Sid Woodall. Thank you Dave, it's a little on fact, but the first dartboard that went across to the American continent was taken on board the Mayflower by the Pilgrim Fathers. So that's how the Canadians and the Americans picked up our wonderful game. And as tradition has it, Rod, the champ plays on night one to defend his title. Yeah, it certainly does. John Park, funny 42 years of age, but he's looking really slim, he's looking mean. He hasn't had the greatest of years after winning that championship last year, but he really has come into a bit of form the last month, six weeks. He's been doing a lot of hard work on the practice board, and I think he's right in what he said, Sid. He's someone to be uh, reckoned with this week. Well, we'll see. Crowning good voice here on top of Muswell Hill. Champ started playing when he was 21 in part, but Davis here from the Freedom Town of Philadelphia. Second appearance, 2007. Circus Tavern lost Andy Jenkins. Game on! Well, he's a solid player as Bill Davis. Nothing will upset him. He'll play his own game all the way through, so it doesn't matter what John Park hits. It's just a question if Bill Davis is going, he's good enough to beat John Park. I just think John Park 
is going to come out all guns are blazing. Well, I think this year's competition he has to. Last year he started with a 94 against Lasper. 100 against Suljevic. And that sort of level, an average of nearly 94, was good enough to get him to the final and a win. I think guys, to get into the final here is going to need 10 points on top of that rod. We're going to see 103 averages to win this one over the next 13 match days. Yeah, I think you're right, Sid. 16. Last year we see a lot of the top players not really on form. They went down early. And uh, it left it open for John Park to do a very professional job, just game on game, took his time, beat the player that was in front of him, didn't worry about the final until he got there. And uh, he thought Christmas... He had another Christmas present, I should say. Not yet finding the range on that 60 Nice last dot. Say so this line done very well in American tournaments with the PDC. Very cool customer from Philadelphia. Nice adjustment to the 60. And we look at that uh, part. Trying to get back to the form of 2005 when it, the match play. Retailer 16 11. He's going to need that kind of form. Well, he's certainly one of the players who can play this big stage. He loves the big crowd. He loves this stage here, this John Park. And he's been around long enough and he's beaten everybody in the game. So he isn't scared of anything. Bill wants double ten for the first leg. It's way off and he knows it. He just needs to put this inside. But he's got plenty of time. 17. Well, he's got plenty of time because John Park's at least nine darts away. One of the greatest counters the game's ever known after Harry Christian himself. My friend Rod Aaron in here. Twice world match player champion for a one. Number one. Crowd very expectant here, Rod. Well, it's a great result there from John Park. Put some pressure on this double five. Well, that's a brilliant mark. You wouldn't expect Bill Davis to miss this now. Well, John then. Slight round. An academic career at Oshawa University. He was going to go into business studies. But then left the Financial Angels and joined the Tungsten Ticklers. Well, if I remember rightly, John Park used the treble 19 really well last year. And that's one thing that a lot more players have to do. As soon as you cover up that treble 20 bed, go for the open target. And if you can do that, you pick up the extra points that gives you extra darts and a double. Well, let's just check out what science says about the park run with flight count 1,000. 1,000 frames a second. Looks like a slightly early release that. So that means Dart will get a higher trajectory. Yeah, you're exactly right, Sid. Perfect example there from the camera. John Park, early release, and the Dart goes higher. Here we have Bill Davis. And again, Bill Davis releases a little bit hard, uh, a little bit early, and his dart has a bigger rainbow than, say, Phil Taylor's would or James Wade. 40. There you go. Day one, and already Rod Arrington adding to the palette of darts jargon. I love it. The rainbow shot. Love it. Wow. Understacker needed. Hardest shot in the game. Wow. wow. So well. Yeah, that was a great third dart. You can actually see how the other two flights guided the third one in. John Park, is he going to slam this third one in there? Well, Davis on 81 to go 2-0 up in this first set. Well, Champ averaging 84. Challenger from across the pond. Wait for it. Averaging 106. Game on in Ali Pally. Well, he's got to go 12 ball. There's no other route here. He's got to go 12 for the bullseye. Double 13 for 2-0. What a shot this will be. Bingo! Wow! 